items tend to be somewhat trendy and they come in and out of popularity, but they are a great way for kids to become involved in gardening. And basically, once you get the plants in and you have the water moderated, they can become a sealed environment unto themselves. They can be done in smaller bottles. They can also be done in large one gallon glass jars. One thing that you can add to terrariums because they are mostly a sealed environment is to add a layer of charcoal. This will help to absorb some of the moisture and potentially any mustiness. We probably do need to add a little bit of the water because the potting soil we added was on the dry side. A matter of tablespoons, maybe up to a quarter of a cup of water. Many of the plants that you'll find in terrariums, they grow low to the ground so they create a ground cover. We also have selected one plant that could eventually outgrow its space so it will periodically need to be pinched back. We've also selected a nice little fern that will fill in, but shouldn't get much taller than this. If they begin to get a little bit light green or yellow, this could be moved closer to a window, but you don't want to put it so close to a window that it gets too hot. Keep a close eye on these plants for the first few days and make sure that they're not wilting. The University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman from the ground up.